Hi everybody, Nathan here, coming to you from the amazing and beautiful country of Switzerland. Today we're going to be doing some landscape photography at a location called Creux de Vent. Now normally I would take the train because Swiss rail system is amazing and it's one thing that I plan to feature a lot on this YouTube channel. However, I'm also a father of two and my one-year-old refused to sleep like a normal human being last night. So me and my wife got very little sleep and my, my normal early plans just didn't quite flesh out. But we're going to make the best of it. We're going to rent a car and we're still going to get to the location even if we're not going to get to hike as I was planning on. So here's the deal. I am running late. It is 3.48 and I am still on the way to the car. Okay, well the boat's pulling up here, so um, let's get on it. Okay, so, off the boat, but I missed the first one. I'm gonna be lucky if I get out of the city by 4.30, which means if I get to the location at six, I'm only an hour before sunset, and it's still about a 20 minute walk to the area where I wanna go shooting. I, I almost thought, I was like, you know what, I'll try again another weekend for the video, and, and you know, maybe I don't wanna force it. But here's, here's the thing. I want to improve at photography. I want to improve at landscape photography. You know, I, I want to make YouTube videos. And if I wait, or if I, if I choose to, to not race the clock, I have zero chance of doing any of that. But if I take a gamble and I go, even if I'm a little late for the light, I can still maybe try to catch some images. But I, I, I get some chance at practice. I get some chance to practice at YouTube videos. I get some chance at everything. I have no chance if I don't try at all. So I'm gonna go for the try. All right, well, I gotta, I gotta walk a bit. I gotta find where this rental car is. It's like one of those car sharing programs. So see you in a moment. It's not working out as easy and as lovely as I hoped it would be because where my rental car is appears to be in a closed street. Found it just before the road is closed. There's a little driveway here that I have access to. So crisis averted. I was really ready to just find a different way. Okay, to the car. Okay, we're here. But the issue kind of is the, the high altitude clouds that were around when we got started have actually, they've gotten quite a bit thicker. In fact, the sun is just basically right here and the clouds are thick enough that it's not really punching through. Okay, so as I was saying, you know, maybe as the sun lowers in the sky, it will create a gap just above the horizon that allows the light to stream through. And if that happens, <laughs> All of these thick clouds above us, that, well not really thick, but all of these clouds above us will hopefully just catch fire. So anyway, last time I was here, okay, so I'm walking through this field that I'm walking through right now. And there is a huge bull, maybe four meters from me, five at the most, not very far. And he just looks right at me. He goes like, Pfft. now I don't know what this meant, but I felt slightly intimidated. <laughs> a giant bull snorted at me. Maybe he just wants to seal the deal with a nice trampling of a small human. It's probably enough babbling for me. I'm gonna stop the camera and then I'm gonna make my way to my composition point. Okay, I'm sorry for the shaky footage. I am not a trail runner, nor are these trail running shoes. But I just looked behind me and I got a picture and I saw like 
yellow, red, purple. I was seeing lots of colors. And we still have a chance, you know, because it could just be that we need to wait, you know, 20 minutes after sunset. Okay, there is no light in the sky right now. But this is one of my spots for a composition. Okay, so the reason I like this composition, let me pull you back this way. This is one of the potential spots, I think, is you're very, you're very close to this wall here. And it very much acts like a leading line. And I think I need to go wider than this lens. My thought was to basically take the shot like this and then have the sky obviously not be this color. So the other spot is that I want to check out, and I think this one's going to be better. I just have to figure out how to get there. Uh, let me show you, because it's very close to this one as well. It's basically where those trees are. Now, I don't know how steep that is, but I'm thinking that there might be a shot right there, somewhere over here. I don't know if I can move fast enough, but I want you to guys see that it's happening. It's actually happening. Okay, I don't want to, I do not want to take the time. I was going to get the other tripod out and show you what's going on here. The sky is exploding. It looks like according to my histogram here, I think I can get everything in one exposure. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a shot. I just kind of have the composition pretty simple. I'm going to take a couple different ones because I always struggle to decide. But I have the Cordovan taken at most of the frame. Uh, I'm going to do this at f11, focus about right there, and take an exposure. <sighs> okay, so for this one, I am doing a bracketed shot here, exposing specifically for the highlights. f11, I'm at about 20 millimeters. And then I'm going to do one at just no exposure compensation and take that shot as well. I'm not a master landscape photographer. I am still really new to this, but I've been trying to learn. I, I, I can say this, I'm just so happy, even if it's not the most amazing composition, I'm just so happy that I tried and that the light came and that the way that I thought it might work out, it did. And it makes me feel like, it feels like a victory because you know, photography and it's probably any art form, sometimes you feel like you have a lot of failures, you try, things don't work out, you don't like your composition, the light didn't show up. And I'm just, I'm happy that I stuck through it and that I tried and, and, and the light came. I have a long way to go in this journey of landscape photography, but I feel like this is one small victory for me in that I couldn't be happier right now. However I rate the composition, or you rate the composition, I rate the effort in the trip a 100% success. It was amazing, and thank you for coming along with me.